Yorkshire opponents and both clubs are certainly not out of contention to drop out of England's fifth tier. With half an hour gone, Matt Coslow started a move from halfway, driving at the Woking back line, but after being halted by Kane Ferdinand, secured a penalty. The spot kick winner stepped up, making it 1-0. Five minutes after the interval came an equaliser at the Laithwaite Community Stadium. An effort from outside of the box by Regan Charles Cook was diverted past Sam Johnson by Charlie Carter, now Woking top scorer with nine for the campaign. 20 minutes later, though, dominant Halifax pressure paid off. Once again, Nathan Baxter was beaten by Coslow, who's on to eight for the season for the Shea men. Into the final ten, Jamie Fullerton's men weren't shy, pushing for more. A Michael Duckworth cross found sub Connor Thompson, who scored on his debut. Halifax are unbeaten in three, their best run since October. The win gives Halifax some breathing room, and Maidstone too will be feeling much more comfortable after their first victory in four months. Hartlepool continued to look nervously over their shoulders despite a hard four point, but none of the bottom four were able to enhance their bids for survival. At the top, Macclesfield stayed two points clear of Sutton as both maintained their winning streaks, with Tranmere and Wrexham also keeping pace. Meanwhile, with Dover's game at Eastleigh postponed due to a waterlogged pitch, Wilde's resounding victory moves them within two points of a playoff place.